Oh, welcome uh, everybody. Uh, we're just down at the moment at the Sand Islands at Swansea. Um, obviously, it's a little bit of a rough day with everyone moving about, so I apologise for the image stabilisation. We'll see how long the video lasts before I have to cut to a, something on shore where it's not as uh, yeah moving about as much. But I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on the plan. So Sam and I, for a long time, have been thinking about basically buying a catamaran and sailing the Bahamas and the Caribbean. So where we're up to that of, uh, is we had a plan, of course, just get that plane in the background if you can see it. Um, yeah, the plan was basically to, we had a rental property that we built up a, a bit of equity in over the years. And the plan was to sell that to release some equity to rent out our own house that we live in. We still have a mortgage on that, so we need to rent that out to pay the mortgage and to buy a cat over, um, yeah, so that we could sail the Caribbean and, and the Bahamas sort of areas. Originally, we were sort of thinking, all right, well, you probably buy it in Florida, but of course the prices are a little bit higher there than what they would be in the Caribbean. And the prices in the Caribbean are a little bit higher than what they would be possibly in Europe. So we listed the house for sale, um, and it was around that time, 2020, when COVID hit. So the sale of the house, uh, we got a little bit less than possibly what we would have liked, but pretty, you know, within 5%, so it's not too bad there. Um, but at the moment, we're basically just stuck here in Australia. We're not, uh, the government, Australian government doesn't let anybody, uh, any Australians actually leave. So until they open the borders, we're basically stuck. We have the money ready to, and available to start looking at buying these, this catamaran. But um, yeah, at the moment, we sort of don't want to commit to a purchase of that because uh, we can't actually leave the country to go to it. You can seek an exemption. Um, and some of you may have actually noticed my posts online on Cruises Forum and those sort of places asking about if anybody's actually been successful in seeking a, an exemption to leave the country. But yeah, at this stage, we are certainly still stuck here. Um, so what was the plan with uh, your rundown of the plan with the jobs? So I'm a school teacher. And so what I would planned to do, sorry about the rocking there, that's probably getting really annoying. But what I'd plan to do is uh, when you're a school teacher in New South Wales and Australia, you are able to access, if your boss permits, a program called the Deferred Salary. And what the Deferred Salary is, is that you work for, for four years at 80% pay. And so 20% of your pay gets put away each year into a, into a bank account that's still in your name. And then what happens in the fifth year is you effectively get the entire year off work and you get that 80% that you've put away uh, to draw down as, on as a wage. So, and you can either take it as a wage or you can take it as a lump sum. But um, yeah, the, I'm on the deferred salary. The benefit of that, of course, is that when I decide to come back to teaching, or, you know, because the money will run out, you know, we can't, we're not rich enough to sail forever. But when the, one, when the money does run out, um, or that's it, or January 2022 comes around, then I have a job to go straight back into on sort of the 27th or 8th of January uh, 2022. So there's no mucking around with having to find work. I'll be straight back into full-time gainful employment and of course back onto a full wage unless I, of course I'm, unless I go back into the deferred salary. There is also the option, I, I've got a lot of long service leave I could use up. We could actually have all of 2022 off with just using my long service leave at half pay. Um, oh dear, that's, that's how long I've been teaching for to build up that much long service leave. Anyway, uh, so Sam, what's the deal with Sam? Sam used to work at the local council. She got offered a redundancy. She took that um, in about 2019, and then she found a contract which ran her up to August of 2020, but she's actually, um, you know, obviously because we're not leaving because of COVID, she's actually got given the opportunity to go permanent at work, uh, and her work knows that she has this sailing plan in the future. So yeah, that's it. They've given her the go ahead that if she wants to take leave without pay, she can do that and hopefully she'll have a position there still available when she comes back. She's obviously a very hard worker and so it's great that her business, um, her employer could actually support her in that way. Uh, so some other things, homeschooling. We're not terribly fussed about homeschooling. Obviously me being a school teacher, we will be doing learning um, of various types, but we haven't actually gone to the point of actually signing up to any actual homeschool program. I've got a bunch of textbooks your basic, uh, you know, reading, writing and arithmetic. But I want to sort of immerse our lessons in the, I guess, the history, geography and cultures of those islands that we go to. So uh, look out in the in the videos that if we actually ever do pull this off, there'll be lots of uh, history lessons about pirates and forts 
and um, and how man moved about the world and all those sort of things. Um, yeah, so that's a, a bit of a wrap up of, of where we're heading at the moment. As I said, we are, you know, it's uh, it is now at the end of August. It's almost this is the this is actually the last weekend of winter. Yeah, check it check it out. This is the last week of weekend of winter in Australia. Uh, it's 24 degrees Celsius, and as you can see, everyone is out getting ready for springtime. Of course, the flip side is sometimes summer becomes that hot that you wouldn't want to be out here, um, certainly for a few days throughout summer. But yeah, starting to come into a very lovely time of year here in Australia. All right, well, I hope this has uh, given you a bit of an insight into what's going on, and uh, I hope you enjoy the videos. Season one, obviously, looks like it's going to be the trailer sailor, and then hopefully season two will start off with the, uh, we are, have made an offer on a, on a catamaran on the other side of the world and we're about to jet off. So uh, yeah, enjoy season one and look forward to season two. See you there.